Alright ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another Hero House Reviews. Today we're doing a bit of a flashback as we look at the play arts Auron from Final Fantasy X. Now, Auron was far and away the best character in that game, and as far as I'm concerned, that's the best Final Fantasy. Admittedly, it was the first I ever played, so that probably colored the experience. I played it with my brother, very good bonding experience, and Auron was our favorite from that, so I'm very pleased to have finally gotten this guy. Normally these figures are really expensive to track down or difficult, but I managed to get very, very lucky on eBay and pounced on him. And considering his age, he's a great figure. I mean, the sculpting alone is worth the price of admission. Like, look at him, he's basically just stepped out of the game. That sword. That is nuts. Great sheen on it too. The sheer level of sculpt going into him, he's got his grog. Danglin sleeve, shoulder guard, his legs, boots. There's not one part of him that hasn't been like meticulously cared for. Even the eyes are great. Yeah, that's that's an insane figure for his age. And the articulation he has is respectable for his, like for his age. I mean, He's got great articulation in the legs. He doesn't have thigh swivel, but he does have fantastic ankle pivot, which a lot of figures today struggle with. And this guy is verging on, like, 15 years old now, I think? So that's crazy. And his arm is articulated. I'm not going to move it because the arms do have an unfortunate habit of breaking. Mine was broken at the joint there, which is regrettable. But again, cheap eBay purchase, and it does happen with these figures a lot. So if you're going to track one down, be aware. The arm is probably going to be broken, or will break very easily. He does have wrist swivel, like, very good wrist swivel, which you could see if the background wasn't there. His head is articulated and can swivel. Is it on a ball joint? Yeah, head's on a ball joint. And his arm, like, so obviously you can't move the one that's slung, but this does come off, and you can attach a second piece that has his other arm free. And that has a bicep swivel and a ball joint and wrist swivel. So his articulation skyrockets once you put that on. Whether I'll succeed in doing that, however, is another matter entirely, because it's such a difficult thing to remove. I don't know why they made it so tough to remove and insert, but yeah, that's just where we stand. He is flawed, but again, older figurines, so I'm going to be more forgiving, especially since he wasn't overly expensive. But if you bought, like, bought him at the time, I imagine he was very expensive anyway. So you might have had bigger gripes if you have this figure. So, those are things to be aware of. Breakable arms, difficult to remove effect pieces. He also comes with a stand, which is cool, but you don't need it because he stands well. He has fantastic balance and that sweet, sweet ankle pivot. Yeah, don't think I've got too much more to say other than I am so glad to finally have Auron in my collection, the ultimate badass. Uh, I'll do some pictures now and then we'll wrap it up. One second. Alright guys, and there you have it, Play Arts Auron. I think he came out in like 2006, 2003, somewhere about that line, and he is a fantastic figure for that time frame. He's a fantastic figure for today. Annoyingly, his more articulated arm doesn't look as good as the extremely difficult to remove bandaged arm, so I'm gonna have to put that one back on. But still, you know, these are the prices we pay for these figures. Sometimes you've just gotta do a bit of a fiddling around and see what works. It does look good though, again, prime sculpting on that band, and great articulation. So, if you can find him cheap, strongly recommend, just be aware of the ding in his arm, well the arm that falls off, and the difficulty in switching up these arms. But you know, you do get some decent articulation and an incredibly good looking figure. Weird scale, I think he's like 8.5 inches tall, which I'm into with Auron, because he, in my mind, he was always a character who should tower over everyone else in the room. And then I looked up and found out that he was only meant to be six foot tall. And, you know, I can't live in a world where I'm taller than Auron, so... Uh, him being eight feet tall works for me. And, yeah, that's just my personal preference. Out of five, it's kind of hard due to his advanced age, but, you know, relative to other figures that were coming out then, he is high-end, he is well done, he's nicely sculpted, great articulation for the day, and it still holds up. So I'm going to say four, 
Four out of five. The breakable arm and the difficulty in swapping accessories knocks him down from being perfect. But you're not going to find a better Auron. So yeah, four out of five. If you can find it, enjoy. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you want to see more, we have plenty of reviews. We have Hero House, which is back up and running with fairly regular releases. And figure fights. The next of which should be Shang-Chi vs. Shredder. Which, to be announced when that will come out. But anyway, yeah, we've got more coming up, and I'll see you again. Thank you. Bye.